Hey, Live Nation fans, we are here with Tebe. Thank you so much for joining Thanks us. Thanks for having me. How does it feel to be back in Toronto? Feels good, it's a little cold. A little cold. Yeah. yeah. Compared was, to Nashville? Compared to sure. Nashville, yeah. yeah. 2019 has been your year with the CCMA nomination, yeah. your singles doing amazing. Yeah. How does it feel? It feels really good. You know, I just feel like over the last couple of years, um, we've kind of kicked things up a notch with some of the songs we've had out, like Denim on Denim and Who's Gonna Love You. And, now the good ones. Speaking of good ones, working with Marie May, how has that been? How did that project come it's together? It's incredible. She, um, I mean, she's such a massive superstar in Quebec, right? Mm -hmm. and, uh, and my producer's from Quebec, and he's known her for a really long time. And we sent her the song and asked her if she'd be interested in, uh, in joining us, and she said, yeah. And this kind of mix of pop and country, yeah. we're seeing it a lot with Florida Georgia Line and BB Rexa, yeah. Kane Brown and Marshmello. Is this a trend, do you think, or kind of the way that music's going? I mean, I think it's a little bit of both, you know. I think people are listening to all different genres of music. You know, I personally know that there's fans of mine that, that come to my show that also listen to Drake. I wanted to work with someone outside of the genre. Yeah. Um, it's it's really easy to, to kind of work with the same people um, in, the, in the country music industry, but I wanted to get out of that and try working with someone else, and, and uh, Matthew May was the perfect fit. And you've written for such heavy hitters in the pop world. Yeah. One Direction, Cher, Fifth Harmony. Yep. Is there someone you haven't written for that is on your bucket list to write with? Maroon 5. Maroon 5. Yeah, I'm We're putting the vibes we're, we're, out there. We're sending it out yeah. there. Adam Levine, if you're watching this. I can't wait to play this clip when you do work with Maroon yeah. 5. Oh, like, yeah. You heard it here first. Yeah. Put it out there. I love it. What's your favorite part of touring? Oh, man. It's, um, favorite part of touring is obviously the shows. Mm -hmm. I'm excited about this tour being a headliner for the first time. We've been the support act on many tours over the years and just trying to grow the fan base consistently. And and, and here we are with, uh, with my name on the top of the marquee. For fans that come to your show, what do you want the takeaway to be for them when they leave? I don't take it for granted that people spend their hard-earned money to come watch me perform music. I mean, when you actually think about that, it's crazy. Mm -hmm. um, so I just want the fans to know that I truly appreciate it when you, when you buy a ticket. I want to walk away with more fans than I had going in. Because, you know, there's people that go to a show and they may not know the artist, their boyfriend dragged them there, or whatever it may be. And I always just want to continue to make fans. And I want people to walk away saying, I love that show, I want to see him again. If you guys want to see Tebe on tour, check out the link in our bio.